creating. In this video, let us see how do we go ahead and have a nested virtualization. What I mean is, I got a Hyper-V environment on this machine and I have this VM1. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and deploy Hyper-V and deploy virtual machines on this virtual machine, which means on a physical machine, I got Hyper-V and I deployed a virtual machine. On this virtual machine, I am going to go and deploy Hyper-V and host virtual machines. So team, so if you go ahead and try to install this particular uh, role called as Hyper-V from Server Manager, right, I'm going to this roles and futures, right, so next, go to the server roles and select this option called as Hyper-V, that's what we need. So I'm adding those Hyper-V futures and what you see here is this particular error message which says that Hyper-V cannot be installed, the processor doesn't have the required virtualization capabilities. So then how do we fix this, right? So there's a simple command that which you need to go ahead and run on the on the host where this Hyper-V is running, right? So the command goes like this, right? So set your virtual machine processor hyphen virtual machine name, name of the virtual machine, expose virtualization extensions to true. So all you need to do is replace this particular VM name with your virtual machine name, in our case VM1. Go ahead and run this on the server where you have your Hyper-V running. So my Hyper-V is running on this PC, so I'll go to the PowerShell prompt. Right, so I'll go ahead and run it as an administrator, I'll go and run this command. This is some issue here. Okay, so we need to take it off. So this machine is up and running. So I need to take this off, I'll just turn it off. So I'll go and rerun this command. Now this command, that command runs successfully, right? Now go ahead and let us power it on, start the VM and now let us see if we can go ahead and install Hyper-V after enabling those virtual machine VM processor extensions. Just waiting for that uh, VM to come up. Right, I'll go ahead and try to log in as an administrator and also for that. Now if you go and try to install the same Hyper-V extensions now from the server manager, go to your add roles and features option, right, say next, go to server roles, select Hyper-V and Hyper-V, this time you don't see any error message. So go ahead and install your Hyper-V role on this machine. Right? Hope this helps and we'll meet with another video next time. Thank you.